I started this project by cutting up some sheets of 16 and 3 millimeter MDF which were sandwiched together with PVA wood glue. After the glue dried, I drew out a basic flintlock pistol design which was then cut out with a jigsaw. The next step is to carve out the shape of the flintlock pistol using rasp files and sandpaper and I also use my rotary tool to carve out the channel to fit the barrel. For the details on the gun, I took a scrap piece of PVC pipe and flattened it out with a heat gun and clamps, which was used to make all of the pieces displayed here. The curved plate for the hammer and frizzin was made by creating a template with masking tape for a piece of PVC plastic to be cut and curled over the handle and filed until both sides were symmetrical. Now back to the MDF, I found it best to seal the edges with two layers of PVA wood glue and sand it smooth, which is then followed by gluing on all of the detail pieces with contact cement. Before painting can be started, a coat of primer is applied and then sanded back to expose the imperfections, which were then fixed with multi-purpose gap filler and then again sanded smooth and given another coat of primer. Okay, so right now I'm just painting the uh, handle of the flintlock pistol. Now what I find best to get the best um, effect that the paint looks like wood is you first go on with like what I'm doing, a light brown and then I'm painting back over it with a much darker brown. And then I might find a new shade, maybe slightly lighter, and just dry brush that over it. So yeah, just... Oh, and always keep your brush marks in the same direction. For the rest of the painting, I use watered down acrylic paint mixtures to get an appropriate colour for the pieces to look like metal, which was brushed on gently to reduce brush lines. Each different colour or layer was then sealed off with clear spray. To finish off the weathering, I applied some dark acrylic wash over the pistol and wiped away the excess, which was then fully sealed off with more clear spray.
If you have enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please subscribe to make it happen for future projects.